all set for the few restaurants at Dundalk Stadium Maiden. And they're off. Meteor Storm just uh, a little bit slow to leave the stalls, but didn't lose that much ground. And Fine Point and Rory Cleary has moved through on the inside to be the first one to show in front with Street Mentor in the striped jacket and Huxley in the white cap on the outside of that trio. They race first, second and third towards the first bend. Followed four on the inside by Sita Polaris, who has a good position under Billy Lee, followed then by the white cap of Highland, Bling and Shane Foley. Agenda races next in the field, the favourite, followed then by the two Luke Homer runners. Apache War, the white cap on the inside of Taste of the Sea, and the back marker is Meteor Storm. As they head into the back straight, about six to eight lengths first to last as Fine Point, and Rory Cleary continued to take them along at a steady enough pace, leads by about header and neck to in second place Street Mentor. Length and a half then to see the Polaris on the inside of Huxley, and there a length or so in front of Highland Bling, who races five with Agenda. Six on that one's outside in the blue with the orange disc. They're followed by Apache War, who races on the inside of the back two, Taste of the Sea, and on the outside of that duo races Meteor Storm. Heading down the back straight towards the halfway point, and the lead is now taken up by Street Mentor, Andy Slattery, deciding to put a little bit of pace to the pace to the race and leads by a couple of lengths. Second place races Fine Point, a length and a half then to find C the Polaris, who races third, uh, Huxley and Agenda moving up on the outside to take much closer order under Wayne Lorden. Behind those is Meteor Storm, who's gone a couple of places ahead of Highland Bling, with the back two being the two coma runners, Apache Warren, Taste of the Sea, at a ga about three to four lengths off the penultimate, off the the remainder of the field. So as they head past the halfway point and towards the three and towards the turn into the straight. Street Mentor on the inside with Agenda on the outer. These two a length and a half in front of Huxley who travels okay in third. Fine Point comes under pressure in four. They're followed by C the Polaris who tries to make ground between those two. Island Bling is next in the field, followed then by Meteor Storm, but into the straight, inside the final two furlings, and Agenda into the centre of the track, the leader from Sea the Polaris, now tackles on the far side, Huxley between horses, but Agenda is half a length of a lead, as the race down inside the final furlong, it's agenda by a length, by a length and a half, and going on now, as the race inside the final 100 yards, it's agenda and Wayne Lorden going on, stretching clear inside the final furlong. Agenda goes on to win it by four lengths in good style. Huxley second, see the Polaris third. Highland Bling stayed on to be four, ahead of, in fifth place, Fine Point, who also made up, in fifth place, part of the Apache War, who made up some late ground. Yeah, great time, Wayne Lorden here, of course. First win for the Wayne since that horror fall in the Irish Derby last year. Wayne, great to see you back, and uh, nice to get the winner on, on a nice prospect, I'd say. Yeah, it was uh, nice to go back. I had a few nice rides uh, the last two weeks, but nothing showed up, but uh, thankfully today's it happened. It did indeed. Uh, he looked a nice prospect based on a very good debut run last season. Yeah, he's a lovely horse. He handled the surface well, good mover, stays well. He jumped and he was a little bit raw at me the first half. So I felt the race steady a little bit, so I was able to ease him and go forward. And I think when I done that, he got got into a good rhythm and he stayed well. Yeah, and he showed a little bit green, it's understandably, when you let him go, he'd pull your whip through to, his left, to your left hand. But God, when you change your hands last far, he really lengthened for you. Yeah, he's a big horse. He's probably a little bit baby still. And he takes a little bit of organising. You know, when you're that big and he's able to gallop. So um, he did have a roll around, but he's going to improve plenty as well. Nice performance. Great for you to be back. Yeah, happy to be back. So, um, look, it's... It makes it a bit easier when you come back riding horses like him, so um, now I'm enjoying it. So. It's been a long, long road for you. A long road, but um, thankfully we're here and then we're enjoying it. Yeah. Dog tonight, it's going to be a bit warmer made on a course on Saturday. You've got three booked rides at present. Yeah, so um, yeah, so look, really looking forward to that. So I go over there uh, Friday, so it'll be grand. So it's great racing, so it's good, be, good to be involved. Mm. Navy Seal, of course, your first ride in the card. Yeah, so um, yeah, I'm drawing wide on him. Um, he's on the dirt as well, so look. It's a big learning curve for, for a horse like him and myself, of course, you know. So we're going to see what happens. Hopefully, big run in the cards. It's great to see you back, Wayne. Well done again. Thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.